Why do you want to have your own crypto wallet? Why not just keep it on an exchange and how to install your own wallet? In this video we will briefly explain the necessity of having your own crypto wallet and how to do so via your PC or laptop. A crypto wallet is a device or program that can interact with the blockchains available for that wallet. It represents cryptographic control over a blockchain address. But where is my board's crypto stored now and why do I need to transfer it? Well, for two reasons. Reason 1. Safety. The wallet on an exchange you bought your SDX on is called a custodial wallet, since the exchange holds custody over your wallet. If something goes wrong and for whatever reason you cannot access your funds, there is nothing you can do. With a non-custodial wallet, like the Hero wallet, you have custody over your crypto and nobody can access this but you. Reason 2. Utility. Sure, you can just hold your crypto, but most crypto activities like stacking, buying NFTs, using decentralized finance protocols, all work with connecting your Hero wallet to the protocol. Whether you want to stack stacks with Plan Better Pool, buy NFTs on Gamma, or use DeFi protocol Alex, you will need a crypto wallet extension. So, how do you install a wallet browser extension? Well, first you go to the Hero website and download the extension. The extension is needed for you to buy NFTs and perform other activities in the ecosystem besides just holding SDX. So therefore, choosing the extension is recommended. Once you've successfully downloaded your browser extension, you can set up a new private wallet. You can do this by clicking Create Stacks Account. After clicking this, you will receive your secret key, which is a word phrase that is tied to your private key. This word phrase unlocks your private keys. Private keys are like your PIN number to access your bank account, while public keys are similar to your bank account number. When you send stacks, you're sending value in the form of a transaction, transferring the ownership of your coin to the other person's public key. Public keys are used for sending and receiving, while your secret key phrase, meaning the secret key phrase tied to your private key, is used for logging onto your wallet. Ownership of your secret keys gives you total control over your funds associated with your corresponding public keys. That's why it is vital to make sure to keep your secret key phrase secretly hidden so that only you know your secret key phrase and only you are able to unlock your private keys and therefore your crypto. If any other person gets a hold of your secret key phrase, they will have control over your coins. It is also equally important to have a backup for your secret key phrase so as to protect yourself from accidental loss. You'd also lose your funds if you cannot recover your lost secret key phrase. So again, make sure you remember them. Make sure you have a backup. After you've written down your, in this case, 24 word secret key phrase, you click I've backed it up. You can now set up a password that is used for a second layer of security. When using the same device, you only have to use this password to log onto your wallet. If you would want to access your crypto on another device, you would have to use your secret key phrase again. Well done, you've successfully created your non-custodial wallet. If you click on receive, you will find your public key to receive crypto, your bank account number so to say. If you want to transfer your crypto from an exchange to your own non-custodial wallet, you will need to go to the exchange, fill in your public key, the amount of crypto and send it to your hero wallet. If you click send, you are able to send your crypto to your desired destination. You can do this by simply identifying the public wallet address of your desired destination of your crypto and fill in all the information needed for the transaction to complete. Be aware, if you want to send your crypto from a non-custodial wallet to an exchange, often a memo is needed. You also have the option to directly buy your SDX via the Hero Wallet. We will go over this process in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you would want to see more tutorial videos, leave a like and reply with which tutorial you would want to see next. Thanks for watching.